So what's his game? Emily is going to ask a question. Okay. And we each have a colored marker. Okay. And <laughs> that is mostly. You're going to okay, write down write what it. your favorite comfort food is yes. while, while I'm talking to the camera and going, her favorite comfort food, and you're like, oh. and she's gonna do, 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 and then it, vice versa, then I'm gonna take the whiteboard and Emily's gonna go, Alex, what's your comfort food? <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Wow. <laughs> I came prepared this time, honey. What are those? What are those? What are, what those? are those? And then these ones with a matching marker with mascara. New Year, new me. Uh -huh. I am going to go with hamburger helper. I feel like you should wait until. I should wait done. until what? Until I'm done. Okay, I should prolong my answer. So Sarah likes to eat hamburger helper. So that is why I decided to go with hamburger helper as Sarah's comfort food. It explains a few things. Mostly, Wait. I think my attention deficit disorder and why I gained a lot when I was such a young age. Just Regis, I don't need to use my phone, friend. This is Chinese food. <laughs> the Lord's Day. Your perfect Sunday yes. would be. I got a few things here. That's not how you play the game. Did you write down one or a few things? I wrote down four things, but they're very broad, general things. So do I have to guess all four? It would If you guess one, I would say, let's give her the point. I'm gonna name four things. No, that's good, fine, fine. You have four things. <laughs> I'm gonna name the four things that she has. Playing some video games. <laughs> Having some dinner. Ellie, you're on such a roll right now. <laughs> that's two for four. Yeah. Play some video games, have a nice dinner. Gee whiz, wash her car. Watch a football game! Cause it's Sunday! Go Bills! She got a few of them. Did you not write football? You love Sunday football. A pool? Since when? I guess I was gonna say have a drink, but you've been so good lately. Right? Since the layoffs. Two for four. <laughs> since the My perfect Sunday? Hmm. This is tough. I have a guess. And it doesn't involve your typical Sunday activities. There's no church. There's no bike rides. There's no walking. All perfect. All fair things. But I think I've just been inside too long. But this is really, this is Traveling? What, kind of. This is what really spoke to me when I heard Perfect Sunday. Perfect I want to go perfect. on a ride. I just want to let loose. I want my hair to oh. blow somewhere other than this porch. Okay, 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 okay. Enough time for Next question. That's my purse! I don't know you! I can only pick one thing. Okay. What do I want <laughs> Sarah to stop doing? I want Sarah to stop... Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna get my feelings hurt. <laughs> I want Sarah to stop saying she's going to give me a gift <laughs> and it's never there. Twelve years ago. <laughs> I've ordered something from Amazon, it's on his its way. Twelve years ago this happened. <laughs> yeah, but I just think it's funny how it's not here yet. It's never it's... arrived. I want Sarah to not say that she's going to give me a gift and then not give me a gift. I said being afraid. <laughs> What were you afraid of? Well, like, you know, there being a pandemic and all that, that's like my boogie man. Oh! Yeah, I want you to stop being afraid, too. Thank you. There's no reason... Don't be... There's no reason to be afraid. Get your hand off my yes. So I have to write down what I think Sarah wants me to stop doing. Done. No way. I think I have it. I wish that she would not snap and yell at everybody all the time. <laughs> I when you know you have an anger problem. I want me to stop yelling just as much as the next person. I want you to like get a shot of my nails just glistening. It's overexposed. What do we pick? What do we pick? Sarah's biggest regret. I think I know. I have my answer. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I've been waiting for you. I have my answer. I got some cute little drawings. You've been drawing? I've had my I am going to say that Sarah's biggest regret is that she did not become a professional artist or something in the art field. Oh wait, Alex, that's so good. Why didn't I think of that one? Well, you can change it. Flip it around. Oh, no. what, what little thing did you regret now? High school grades. Here's what happened. She could have been an artist. I just didn't take it serious and because of that, I didn't get any scholarships like someone I know. And 
now my job laid me off, so. <laughs> I could have done better, but I just chose not to, and that's on me. I need to write my biggest regret. I've got one. I think it's a pretty big one. Gosh darn it. <gasps> I know, I know my biggest regret. I know my biggest regret. <laughs> me laying in bed trying to go to sleep. <laughs> I know it. Oh, is it? Do you regret speeding in that work zone going to grandma's funeral? That is your guess? Yes. And no, 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 no. I don't regret that. I was late for that funeral. I had to speed. The officer should have believed me that I was late for a funeral. He did not believe us. He didn't believe me. Letting my fish exit. Oh no, yes. He trusted her. Trusted His name was Claude Monet. He was a beta and a little too much water went down out of... You're probably like, how did this happen? <laughs> I The way I would do it is I would dump most of Wait, his water do down it. the drain and then I would take what was left with Claude Monet still in it and dump that into like a glass or like a little thing. And I didn't let too much water go down the drain. Claude Monet <laughs> didn't stick to the back of the bowl like she was supposed to. It's a regret of mine. I don't take full blame. <laughs> I don't know whether to go political or like feet. Think back. What has Sarah always been afraid of? Samara from the ring. Samara from the ring. Cindy, this bitch is messing up my floor. Oh, oh, I way overthought that. Yeah. Oh. I genuinely do not even need to write this down because you already know Hi, people. precisely what frightens me. But do you want to say it? I held you in my arms. I watched you be born. Alex carried you for nine months. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Are you going to guess my fear? Spiders. <laughs> Between Sarah and I? I'm going to guess that Sarah thinks that I am better at intercourse with others. <laughs> Oh. Why would I ever for a second think that? Because you're a lesbian. Chimney lesbians. Well, I think she's gonna write herself. But I think I'm better. What did you say yourself? I'm gonna say me, but I know you're writing yourself. I'm not married. You're a virgin who can't drive. Okay, I'm writing down a few, and if you get any of these. And just anything other than Alex? I'm thinking all your life, too. Okay. Allie, Allosaurus Rex. This isn't what did you want to be called. Alex with an I instead of an E. So European. A European of you. <laughs> and <laughs> Albert. Yeah, I forget that's my name. Alexandra. I've been calling you Alexandra a lot. Alexandra. Forgot about that. Albert. We used to call her Albert when she was a kid. I got it. Allie, because that's just short. And this is not how you spell Alejandro. Alejandro! Alejandro! Hmm. Things I've called Sarah. I think I'm done. I have two. I think the first one might be Super. Or Soup. That's my dad's nickname for me. Spooky. Spook. Spookadoo. Spookadoo. I do call her Spookadoo. No. Spookadoo. <laughs> It's like a variation of her name, but I was thinking more specifically variations of your name, kind of like you did. Sarah. Well, too late now. Sarah and Sagwa. <laughs> Our stepsister, when she was very young, she like wrote us a letter and she wrote, Dear Alex, and she meant to write Sarah, Sagwa. but she literally wrote Sagwa. Sagwa. Like the Siamese cat. I think I know this. I think I know what she would pick. Do I know? I think Sarah would want invisibility. I thought about that. Oh, I bet you did. But I just watched Avatar, and I want to be a waterbender, daddy. <laughs> Waterbending is not a superpower. I think there's a whole internet of people that would beg to disagree. A superpower? She's the only good kind. Part of me wants to say that she would choose to walk through walls, because I think Dora's upset her. Oh, I know. I, this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. And here's why. Alex would fly because if you've ever had the blessing of being in a car while she's driving, she gets really scary. <laughs> it goes hand in hand with the anger. <laughs> no patience for traffic. She'll teach everyone a lesson. She'll run over grandma if that teaches her a lesson. 
if she's chain walking. <laughs> I only follow the rules on the road. If somebody's not following the rules on the road, I'm gonna reveal my answer. Fly. For the exact reason that I hate driving. <laughs> Wait, really? I'm not even kidding. If I could never get my car, if I could fly to work, if I could fly to Mickey D's. Would you let Michael on your back when you fly? Yes. Yes. I'm stuck between stop and right of way because I always have the right way. I do you think this sign means get out of the way? Wait, 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 wait. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. It means slippery road. You didn't even draw a stop. But you didn't draw a proper sign. Get out of the way is not a road sign. That's okay. Well, I didn't know it. If you see this, <laughs> if you see this, this means that the road ahead has potential to ice over and be rather slippery. So look out. More you know. Oh, what sign would I be? I'm gonna say watch for pedestrians because I'm always a little cautious. You know. <laughs> divided highway. You are divided. You don't know if you should do it or not do it. You don't know if you should jump. Or sit, sit down. <laughs> Was that the last question? We aren't newlyweds. So, I had fun. Um, if you're not subscribed at this point, I genuinely don't know why you keep watching these. Thank I think you. it's just us. Thanks for being here. It's time to leave you behind. I will miss every single thing that was here today. We'll be back. With me. Don't put that up there. <laughs>